Sally and I met 17 years ago or more. It's been 18, yeah, 19, 20, who knows. Um, we got married in 1998 in a civil union ceremony in our church. Um, it's, it's, well, it was. You're not a civil. See, she's gonna correct <laughs> that. So anyway, we, we had our first one. We had 200 people. 200 guests in attendance. We had. We were lucky to have a church that said yes. We had a wedding. That's our. Yeah. That. Oh yeah. See, we were young. We were pretty. And, uh, we couldn't have been happier with that. And we understood as soon as we went through that that we were married. Emotionally, we're married. We've been through the ups and downs. We've had. A, you know, somebody said we've been married for 18 years, and seven of them were blissful. Uh, you know, marriage is marriage, and, and I think that's the thing that we're trying to get across to people out there. So we adopted, like, we, we sat in, in, our, in our bedroom one night and said, trips to Maui every year or children. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see our trips to Maui up here. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we have not regretted it for a minute. So we came back to Nebraska. We went up to the courthouse for the final of the adoption. I was the only one who could sit at the front table because in Nebraska you cannot have two people of the same sex adopting a child. And you know, you'll put up with a lot of stuff for yourself, but you won't for your children. As soon as you become a mama, you become different. And um, we just looked at each other and said, this is not okay. I have some family members that don't all you know completely approve and in the situation that we were in um, if something were to have happened to me they that any of my family members could have walked in taken my child and walked out the door and Sally would have had no no legal standing at all whatsoever these are the kinds of things that people don't understand they want to defend marriage and they don't understand what they're really doing is torturing us to some degree. If, if any you know, couple that had, had a marriage in Nebraska had to think that my child could just be taken away from me if anything happened to my husband or wife, they, they can't, that, I, I, I just have to assume they can't fathom that. And I wouldn't want them to, frankly. Um, so we went, moved to California, we did the second parent adoption, we got domestic partnership. And uh, then, how many years later did we get married? Well, that we, had, we fostered. Right, but we got we fostered, fostered, then we got married. Did we? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all blur. <laughs> Love. Then it became this small window um, possible for us to get married in California, and we, we jumped on it, and we got married. And so our joke is that we're the Marian, you know, there was the Marian man, we're the Marian women, we just keep doing it. To, you know, we're going to stamp this thing until it sticks. At that point, we had the two kids, and we thought, you know what? This is good. Two is enough. We're getting old. So we decided to move back, and uh, Sally's got um, aging parents. I have an aging parent. So you want to speak a little bit about coming back now? We moved back here, and I was diagnosed two years ago with uh, stage 3 breast cancer. So I went through all the treatment. Um, then a year ago, I was diagnosed stage 4. It's metastasized to my spine. And actually last week, we've discovered it's moved some more. So, um, yeah, I miss the weather too, but God, I'm so glad we're here with this diagnosis um, and just the, the hell that, that treatment is. It's so hard on Susan, it's so hard on the kids. So, um, fast forward to today, why are we doing this? Because as we started looking at our lives and, you know, we gotta get things in order, wills and trust for the kids and all kinds of things, we realized that because Nebraska does not recognize our legal <coughs> California marriage, when I die, Susan's going to have to pay 18% inheritance tax on what we on on my stuff together, yeah, you know, my our, stuff. our savings accounts, our house, our car, and so on. If we were legally married in the eyes of Nebraska, she would pay a 1% tax. So, you know, we have to be saving money now for her to be able to pay that tax. When I die, um, there will be Social Security, my 401k, my retirement account. If Susan were my legally recognized spouse, she would be able to just roll my 401k into hers and then use that retirement income when she reaches retirement age, not pay any penalty on it, um, you know, pay just the normal amounts of taxes, but because we're not legally 
recognized as married, she has one year and then she has to start taking the disbursement of that, which means she's going to pay a penalty. Tax to she's she's only 53, so she will pay a penalty for early withdrawal on that. We are here because we want to help people understand just what we're talking about when we say we are out for marriage equality. We are, it, it's a civil issue. It's not about um, whether someone approves or doesn't approve of getting married to someone of the same sex. It's, this is just not fair, this isn't right. What, you know, what we really want them to understand is we are not gonna take somebody else's money this is my money. I just don't want to pay as much of it to the government as they want me to. You know, we're not about trying to take away anything from them. We're just about trying to have our own protections for my kids. We are not necessarily activists, although here we are. Um, I am just a mama bear. And if you're telling me my kid is going to have to pay a consequence because the state of Nebraska doesn't want to recognize our marriage, I'm going to say no. We also had a conversation with our children, and, and it's one of the things Sally and I really believe in. We, we sat down with our kids and said, we're thinking about doing this. We've got one kid. The, the little one is excited to be, to, to be famous. She I'm famous. I've been on TV. The older one's like, eh, not so much. But the, the, thir the 13, almost 14-year-old, the taller one there, she's pretty shy, pretty reserved. And she said, Mom, it's the right thing. That's just silly. And, um, and so that's what we kind of to is we want them to understand if there's something that you believe in your heart is wrong we have a, a legal system in the United States that you're gonna have to maybe get uncomfortable but you're gonna have to stand up and say you know this is wrong and so that's what we're doing we're, we're hoping that we're showing by example for them I, I don't think any of our girls are gay um, but if they are I want them to have whatever rights they need so